Okay, it's moving day part two. They picked up our stuff, I think it was like September 7th, and they packed it, and they put it on a, a boat, and it has finally arrived. It is November 16th. And what's interesting, one, it's uh, you kind of get used not to having all your stuff, but then you're like, these are my, my comforts. Like, I really want our pictures and uh, our Christmas ornaments, because those are the things that make our house feel a little more homey. But in Korea, um, at least in our apartments, what they do instead of, um, oh, we live on the 11th floor, instead of using the dolly and fairing everything up, they have this big giant machine and they're going to go all the way up to the 11th floor and um, it's like a big giant moving elevator. So I think it's brilliant and a whole lot of surprising and shocking all at the same time. So let's just uh, hang out and watch this madness happen. about 9 p.m. so that puts me back at home that puts me back at home at about 11 and it is it's early it's like 7 a.m. here 7 o'clock 8 o'clock and pretty cold too um, so I'm gonna call it it is what it is let's let it ride being able to move your stuff in and out of. I can't wait to see how they're gonna do the mattress. So did I tell you we uh, we brought our weights, which is, we'll call it pretty ridiculous. The army allows us 4,000 pounds. If we would have been Air Force, we could have brought everything, but I don't know, even though we're on an Air Force base, the standards are different. It is what it is, we make do, but Trev, he needs to work out and stay in shape, especially as PT tests every every six months. And he needs to be uh, fast and strong. They make him do sit-ups and push-ups and running for time. And just having our own weights it, inside the house just means we're going to work out more often. So, crazy, but we did it. put our bed together for us. I mean, these people, these are amazing movers. I love them. It's a uh, best move ever. And just like that, they're gone. Amazing. So an hour and a half later, we are totally done. Next stop, is uh, putting everything away. I'll share with you there's no sleep for the weary in this household as long as there are boxes. Um, we had one move where we finished moving in at 11 p.m. and we unpacked until 4 a.m. because uh, Trev won't let anyone rest until everything's put away. Let's see. 
no breast. 